Hey guys, JP here. Um, had a couple people ask me about the uh, the color fill that I've been doing on my Glock, and uh, wanted to show you guys the magazines uh, that I got done um, compared to the original factory magazine. Um, I kind of like the way it looks, um, and I'm going to go through the process here real quick. Uh, down and dirty. Maybe I'll do a video later on to show um, more detail on how I did everything. <clears throat> I did notice though when, when when I was doing this color fill that uh, number six Glock did not stamp all the way. Hmm, weird. Didn't even notice that before. But I really like the way the white uh, pops out. Kind of neat. Uh, just kind of way that I've been filling my my day off. Um, I've been I've been doing all the magazines I have, and as I say, I'm going to go through and and I'll show the uh, the differences here. Um, but you know, you, you got factory here um, in process, I guess you could call it, and then uh, pretty much finished project. Um, I really like that. And uh, what I've been using actually before I do this last magazine is a nail polish um, I just happen to use finger paints is the brand or or uh, the actual fingernail polish that I've been doing um, what I did was I took it and you see I mean it's not very detailed or, or anything else like that I just kind of gobbed it on where the numbers would be or where the uh, stamps and indentation would be um, after it dried completely completely um, I learned on a couple of the magazines if I tried to wipe it um, and I'll, I'll be able to fix this is no big deal but you see the white residue around the nine millimeter symbol here I tried to wipe it before it was dried completely and that did not work out real well for me um, left a little bit more residue on that magazine however my finished one right here uh, you'll see looks a lot cleaner so what I've been doing is is I let it dry completely. Um, I actually take a uh, razor blade. This is just one that I had laying around for uh, my spare utility knife or a spare blade for my utility knife. Scratch that off very, very lightly so you don't take any of the black plastic off because you don't want to do that. Um, and then I have been using a non-acetone uh, fingernail polish remover. If you use acetone, it can ruin your finishes and, and, and stain the plastic, um, especially when you get into doing the uh, the slide, if you choose to do so. But anyways, uh, just a quick breakdown, and uh, I really like the way that turns out. It kind of it kind of pops on that magazine and uh, makes it a lot easier to read than, uh, than what the factory one is. I like it. And uh, I'm going to finish up my other magazines. As you can see, these are both Glock 19 magazines, but you can really see the difference there in the uh, in the lettering. And uh, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to keep going. Um, one of the other ones that that I'm in the process of doing is I did my slide. Um, I really like the way that turned out. I, I still have some de detailing cleaning to do because you can see the smudges. But um, I think that turned out really neat. And uh, as a matter of fact, I went ahead. <clears throat> I'll show it because I don't want to have my serial number, but it's covered up. I went ahead and did the Glock symbol on the other side uh, right there. I think that turned out pretty cool. And my serial number, um, as you can see, like I said, gob it on, let it dry completely, and then we'll remove it later. <clears throat> so that's in the process. I also went ahead, and I'm going to cover up a little bit of my serial number there, and did the barrel. Um, did a little bit of my serial number there, and then the Glock symbol and the 9x19 on the top is gobbed on. Um, so I still got to finish those up, but uh, we're just waiting on those to dry. But I really think that that turned out neat, um, and it's temporary. This is not something that you do 100% uh, permanent. You can dig it out with something as simple as a sewing needle um, and, uh, and that fingernail polish remover. And 
Just want to show you what it was all about. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you subscribe. We'll talk to you later.